Hi everybody. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been quite a while. I apologize for not putting any more uh, menus up or recipes. And I apologize for not being here for all of you wonderful people who send me emails and talk to me. And we chat a little. I'm so sorry. But in the past few months, five months maybe, there's been uh, quite a few changes. There's like six people passed away on me. My computer went dead. You know, things like that. Really crazy. But I have to get back on my feet because the biggest loser is back. Yep. And that means I have to work darn hard. Yeah, I don't quite remember what we left off with, but what the heck, we'll start with this. I weigh 100, 280 pounds. And by the time the biggest losers are over, I would really like to be... Well, let's see, last year, one of the biggest losers, I lost 52 pounds. That's the way. This year I would like to lose 53 while they're on. <laughs> well, I'm hoping anyway. But that's not definite, but I'm hoping to get close to that number somewhere. I think it would be good for me and healthier for me. I can't wait for them to come on all year because then I look at them and I say, I don't want to get like that. I don't. Close to it. Remember, I started at 386 pounds. Now, I've lost 100 pounds and managed to keep it off. But now I have to go down low. My doctor's having a fit. Mm. And when I tell you having a fit, he is really mad. Did I tell all of you about the, the, the my scale? <laughs> that was fun. Last year when I was on the scale, I thought it worked, and, oh, I was just doing dandy, dandy, dandy. And I thought I started at, um, let me see, 386 pounds. No, I'm sorry. I thought I started at 368 pounds. So by the time the biggest losers were over, I was already down to uh, 268 pounds, which I thought was absolutely marvelous. Yes, 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 to die for. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I have a very dear friend. Matter of fact, she's my therapist. And uh, <laughs> she was being really nice because my scale was old and ugly. And she got me a new digital scale. Well, I have to tell you. I stepped on the digital scale. And all this time I thought it was 268 pounds, remember? And it said 380, 286 pounds. Oh, did I cry and cry. I figured it was my fault. I ate too much. But apparently I didn't. I did stay. But my scale was broke. And it was 20 pounds off. That's how old the scale was. Ooh. So instead of me having started at 360, I actually started at 386. Yeah. And now I'm 286. And I've got to do something about this. Just think, if I can lose the 50 pounds, I'll be down to 230. Y'all won't know me then. Mm, 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 mm. I'll be a, a raving beauty. Yes, box is fair. <laughs> so I believe, so that's why I'm going there. Yes, I'm going to try it all trying to get down to where I should be and then I'll give up smoking. 
you all heard it. I'll give it up then. I can't do both at once. Impossible. Anyway, when I started this, yeah, YouTube, I had a couple of tapes I thought everybody might want to see. Not as many people saw them as I would have liked, but uh, quite a few people did. And it helped some of the people. And I'm hoping that uh, if everybody sits down for two minutes and writes down on a piece of paper everything that's wrong with them, they're going to find out that half that stuff doesn't have to be wrong with them. Nah. Not really. When you write it down, think of all the things that made that illness. And you will find out that being heavy has a big part to play in all of them. Yep. If I start at the top of my head here and work my way down, we could be on for 10 minutes alone just telling you what's wrong with me. I'll give you an outline. I have neuropathy. I have uh, arthritis. Those are two easy ones. I have high blood pressure. I have um, diabetes. I have panic and anxiety attacks. I don't leave my home if it's at all possible because I'm petrified to go out the door. Petrified. It's a very scary thing for me to get to my door and to step on the other side of the sill. Very hard. Let me see. I'm well, I, there's much more, but I'm up to uh, let me see 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, close to 30 pills a day. Yeah, terrible sinuses. Oh, I got a whole bunch wrong. Anyway, and most of it is because of my fat. My doctor keeps telling me if I would just lose the weight. He wouldn't have to fill out a whole pad in his office just for me. No. And believe me, it got so bad that my doctor comes to the house. Otherwise, he wouldn't see me. No, not at all. See, now this Friday is going to be a big, big, big day for me. It really is. Let's see, I have to have my uh, heart checked, my gallbladder checked. I have to give blood. I have to give um, my carotid artery behind my neck in. Yeah. Has to be checked. I have to go for a chest x-ray. This is very scary stuff for me. Very scary. But I'm lucky because the doctor I have rents out one of his offices and the man comes on Friday morning and there'll be nobody in the office. I can go right in, do my test, and go come right out. So I would do those three in the office, the gallbladder, the heart, and the carotid artery. And then I will leave there, and I will go up towards my house more, and I will get a chest sec right done. And you know what? I will also leave um, one of my videos, the results of that. And we can see the difference between now and later. Yeah. Now and later. Anyway, I have to stop talking, and I'm going to make another video right after this. Because my clock says 9 minutes, 8 seconds. And we all know we can't go past 10, 10 minutes. Okay, so I'll sign off. Good morning, good evening, good night. What do we think when we think of ourselves? We think thin. That's important. Think thin. Okay, I love you all. Have a good night, and I will see you in a few minutes.